What's cooking money and life movement? JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Advocacy Friday. If you're a home-based brand like me, you should glue your eyes to this show. Because in the first part, I take out a post from my main blog, link in the description below, and expand it a bit for the current times. Then we go talk about the objection of the week. Want to know this part of the show? Well, <laughs> watch till the end. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> now, so first part of the show is, of course, uh, I'm going to take out I'm going to take out a post from my blog. It's a really old post. I think it's the second uh, second article I've ever posted on my blog. It's called No Patience, No Business. All right. It was an adventure of mine. I, I call it adventures because I don't want to call it experiences when it comes to uh, experiences in network marketing or selling or entrepreneurship. I want to call them adventures. Okay? To me, it's an adventure. Now, no patience, no business. Okay. I had this adventure in the most unlikely of uh, transactions. A Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh card price check. <laughs> a Yu-Gi-Oh card price check. Okay. Tinanong ko sa yung seller ng Yu-Gi-Oh card na yun kung magkano. Magkano yung card na yun. So he said the price. Okay. He gave me a straight answer. Okay. But when I but when I um when I answered his question he, he asked me a question kung kukunin ko na. So I said, uh, ask lang muna ang sagot ko. Right? Ask lang muna. Kasi I don't want to, I really don't want to, uh, what you call this, uh, to make him wait for my answer or paasa mo. Okay? That's, that's, that's a no-no. That's a no-no in business. Paasa mo yung kausap mo. So when I said, na, ask lang muna, he got pissed off. Okay. You know what he said? Just buy the card. Since then, I bought uh, I bought that same card from another seller. Na mas professional pang kausap. Okay. Mas matinu pang kausap kaysa dun sa the one I had the adventure with. The one I had the adventure against. Well, sabi ko, ang klaseng seller to. Walang patience. May kiyang pasensya. You know what? In everything you do, most especially when you're selling something, you gotta be patient. Okay? That's the, that's the, that's the one thing I learned the hard way when I entered the selling profession. When I entered the network marketing profession. Okay? You have to be really patient. Habaan mo ang PC mo. Right? It's a bad mindset. It's a bad mindset to have. Yung uh, pipilitin mo yung pipilitin mo yung tao na bilin na yung bilin na yung binibenta mo. What if he doesn't need it? Okay? What if he can't afford it? Okay? Tapos kailan pa ugali mo? The sale is over right there and then. Okay. The sale is over right there and then. Tapos na. You just lost one customer. You just lost one prospect actually. Kasi hindi, na, hindi pa, pa, hindi pa, pa na nagiging customer yun. Kasi, well, binara mo na eh. Binara mo na. Okay? How many... Prospects, do you have to treat that way in order for you to realize it's wrong? Hmm? Kaya, ang title ng blog article kong yun, No Patience, No Business. Okay. Patience, yes, it's a virtue. And it's also a business skill. If you don't realize that, you might as well... You might as well put together a resume, 
and go out and go out there and look for a job. You're better that you're better off that way. Because you don't have the patience. Because you don't have the patience to just to sell anything. Get my drift. Now, if they say that they're just asking for the price, the best way, uh, the best response is, well, take their word for it. And negotiate. Hindi yung sasabihin mo na, bilhin mo na lang. Just buy the damn card. Hindi ganon. Alright? Take their word for it and negotiate. Okay? Help them rectify their situation. Asking lang. You should not take offense when someone tells you na they're just inquiring about your product or opportunity. Okay? You can eat, you could you could ask them why. You can ask them uh, what made you well what drew you? What drew you to my offer? Ba? Baka, mali natin, baka maka, makahanap tayo ng common ground. Okay? Makahanap kayo ng common ground. There, if there's a common if there's a common ground between you and the prospect. Ba? A sale can actually happen that way. Okay? I've seen it. I've seen it. So, if you want, uh, well, to totally catch my drift on on this subject, well, link in the description, okay? Read the entire post, uh, leave your comments there, or better yet, you leave your comment here. Okay, but either way, uh, but either way, I'll see that. Either way, I'll see that. Now that it's over and done with, on to the objection of the week. But first, a word from our sponsors. So this is, itong itsura dapat ng isang keto lunch. No carbs, all protein, and of course, meat fats. Yeah, ano tayo? Ay salamat. Pati big scallops kinanarin namin. <laughs> well, that's about it for. Uy, may pepper meat tea pa ako. At papa paro na namin. So. Look. Let me get my favorite hand sanitizer first, okay? Sponsors are done. Parang bilisa. Parang bilisa. Oi! Now, it's time for the objection of the week. Okay, what is our objection for this week? Only one word to describe it. Amenities. Okay? During my early years as a, uh, as a sales professional, I got to sell uh, encyclopedias, okay, which they call the general education uh, how show. <laughs> I already forgot because I, I already forgot because naka three weeks lang ako nun eh. I couldn't pull up with their bullshit, so I quit. But they call it the general education, uh, general education. Yeah, general education program, but it's actually a set of encyclopedias, okay? They will all, 
always <clears throat> they would always tell us that always mention the amenities of the prospect okay always mention the amenities of the prospect even when i was uh even when i was uh with phil estate okay i was I used to be a unit manager for Phil Estate, but I did not go through the sales representative route first. Talagang in ko that time was unit manager. <clears throat> because I like the sound of it. <laughs> but I never knew the stakes were that high. So, yun nga, uh, they were telling us to, well, oh, always mention the amenities of the prospect. Okay? When I look at back, when I look when I look back at that now, I thought, why are you so, why are you so fucking submissive? Why are you so fucking dense? Okay. <clears throat> Amenities don't work anymore. 20 years ago, yes. But these days, you are totally wasting everybody's time. If you're the seller, okay? if you're the if you're the entrepreneur, if you focus mainly on the amenities of the prospect, you are wasting not just the prospect time, the prospect's time, but also your time. You're wasting everybody's time actually. It's a, it's the ultimate time waster. Amenities. Now, if I had it my way, I would I would drop the amenities bullshit and well just get down to business i would greet i would greet the prospect then i would probably pre-frame the conversation hmm. a little dan lock there <laughs> a little dan lock there <clears throat> we can pre-frame the conversation and well concentrate on the benefits of the product or the opportunity that's what i would do now Okay. That's what I would do right now. Then, of course, trial close. I've. Uh, it's one of the many things I've learned when I was uh, when I in all my in all my years as a home based and chapman network marketer, a seller. I've learned to trial close, and use the takeaway close. Okay. Again, amenities is bullshit. Okay. It's the ultimate time waster. If you're, if you're the seller, don't you ever use the prospect's amenities. All right. You can use the prospect's amenities once you close the sale. That's the time. Because you've already cleared whatever air is in that room. Whatever, is, whatever air is between you and the prospect, you've cleared that already. Because you close the sale. Now, you can go to the amenities. Right? You can go for the small talk now. Now, if you're the prospect, don't ever use amenities. Alright? If your main goal, okay, is to win the trust of anybody, win anybody's trust, don't ever use amenities. Don't ever use amenities in closing that person. Like I said a while ago, it's the ultimate time waster. Unless you deliberately want to waste the other person's time. Okay? Unless you're, unless you're that stupid. Okay? Unless you're that evil. Alright? So, that's, our, that's the objection. That's why I chose it as the objection of the week. Because, well... Many beginner network marketers are using amenities. Right? I've seen it. Okay? I've seen it over, over the past 26 years. I'm a victim. Uh, uh, no, not exactly a victim. I've used it. Okay? And I'm guilty. I look back at it now. I'm guilty. Okay? Because I'm, I've done it. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. I want to get down to business. State the benefits of my product or opportunity. 
then trial close. Get the pain points of the prospect. That's the most important. Get the pain points of the prospect. Because that way, if you know if you know the prospect's pain points, you can now start closing the sale or uh, having him sign up to your network marketing opportunity or uh, getting that prospect to agree with your brand deal to take you in as one of their influencers or ambassadors. Oops. Munti ko na matabig to. So, that's the objection of the week, okay? Don't ever, ever use amenities, okay? Utang na loob. Hmm. It's the end of another episode again. <laughs> I am so proud of you for sticking it out with me, okay? You found value in this video? Let me know in the comment section. Okay? And don't forget the drill. Hit my logo to subscribe. Hit the bell and comment with done. Doing this drill keeps you in the loop when it comes to my channel. Don't you ever forget that, okay? So, thank you for watching it all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hanggang sa money and light movement. <laughs>